Today we held our census open house. Uh, it's a chance for people in the community to come and learn more about the 2020 census. So we're just doing everything we can as a city to get the information out there so people are excited to participate in the census. Uh, any fears people maybe have about the census, we can take care of those, um, you know, really answer their questions so that when uh, census day, April 1st is here, people are ready and excited to participate in the census and be counted. So there's a lot of reasons why the census is important and why it's important to participate in the census. Census data is used for a number of things. Uh, one of the big things is that Minnesota receives about $15 billion every year from the federal government based on census data. That in Minnesota equates to about uh, $2,800 per person. So for every person that doesn't get counted, we're missing out on another $2,800 that can be put to programs throughout the state of Minnesota. And Blaine specifically, one of the big things is that the state receives $76 million each year in federal transportation grants. And as all of our residents know, fixing Highway 65 is a huge priority for anyone who lives here and for us here at City Hall as well. And the fact that so much of the federal transportation money that comes back to Minnesota is based on census data just shows how important it is for Blaine residents to participate in the census as we work for a long-term solution on Highway 65. Residents will receive a postcard from the U.S. Census Bureau that will come in uh, mid-March, between March 12th and March 20th. Uh, that postcard will have information on how to uh, participate in the census online. All Blaine residents, the first invitation they get will be to go and participate in the census online. After that, people will start, if they don't respond right away, they'll start getting reminder letters from the U.S. Census Bureau. Now, eventually, if they didn't respond, they will get a paper version of the census. We know some people are still gonna be more comfortable filling it out on paper and mailing it in, and that's still an option. It just won't be your first option. If they still don't complete the census by late April, that's when that address could be visited by a census worker. Now, census workers will be in the field from late April all the way through August, visiting people who have not completed the census. And you can get up to uh, six visits at a single address to see it. Will you participate? Will you be counted in the census? So census workers will work really hard to make sure we have a complete count here in Blaine and in the entire country. If we do have an undercount that where not everyone gets counted, that doesn't just go away. That lasts for 10 years. The, the impacts of an undercount are long term, and that's why it's so important that everyone gets counted. And that's why we're really pushing. We have a complete count committee here at the city. We're pushing for a complete count in Blaine. That's why we're really pushing hard to just get information out and try and push information out in as many ways as possible so, we, so, we can, so people can be confident uh, and excited about filling out the census. Mm -hmm.